Welcome to Chasing Static. This is described as a psychological horror short story. It's supposed to take a couple hours to complete, and it's made by Headwear Games. I was kindly sent a press key for it. What attracted me to it was the aesthetic. Just I saw a couple screenshots, and it has this kind of crunchy PlayStation 1-esque kind of look to it. And you can see just from the menu here with the how everything is made to look like a VHS tape, that it's it's really going for a retro kind of vibe in a way that I really like. Yeah, uh, I've played it for just a couple minutes, just to make sure it works. Let's begin a new game. Excuse me? Chris, I presume? Uh, yeah. Sure. It's Evelyn? We spoke on the phone. All oh, right, sorry. I didn't recognize your voice. Oh, that's fine. I'm happy you could make it. Your father. It seems he... Well, he didn't have a lot of friends. In the end. He never did. Right. Anyway, the Hall asked me to give you this. It was all they had in regards to his personal effects. A book? Huh. I'm sure there's a lot you have to process today. I apologize for being so forward. No, it's, it's fine. Honestly, um... We really weren't that close. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, Chris. I hope you have a safe journey home. Both the sound and the look of the rain on the windows is so, so good. God, I love how that looks. To whom it may concern. Packed into the pages of this book, you will find my life's work. A means with no end. A fruitless garden. Thirty years of questions with no answers. Much like my own hollow ambitions, some things never come to fruition. I only hope that these tattered pages may serve to prove that we are more than ourselves, and that our perception of reality is merely a veil over our own ideals and hunger to understand this world. I have many regrets. The Institute is not one of them. I think we may be going to the Institute to find out what happened there, if I'm not mistaken. This is as far as I played, I just messed around with some of the things you can do in the car. So I don't actually need to drive it. I'm kind of just watching as we drive, but I can, well, I can turn off the headlights if I feel like crashing into something. I, I don't. Let's turn this back on. Think that makes us go faster or slower? Possibly. Yeah, it definitely does. That's now slow. 
Another sip. What's in the glove box? Roadmap. Um, let's see if there's anything else first. really do just adore how this looks. And that rain is, oh. I love chunky 3D graphics so much. A weathered old menu with a legible writing. Christ alive. You almost gave me a heart attack. Let me guess. Got lost in the storm? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, conversation is normally a two. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, there's apparently a timer. Are you still open? Sorry to barge in. Uh, you're still open, right? Uh, kitchen's closed, but we have all the coffee you could want. You don't sound like you're from around here. No. I mean, I used to be. A long time ago. Where are you headed, anyway? I'm, uh, headed east. Oswestry. Oh, so do you want the good news or the bad news first? Ah, uh, well, obviously I'm going to take the good news first. <laughs> well, you're on the right road. We'll be headed that way myself soon. Bad news is it's about half an hour back that way. Hang about and I'll show you the way, if I can bum a lift. Sure. Uh, to be honest, I could do with the company. Wasn't looking forward to cycling in this rain anyway. I was about to say, how are you going to get home on your own? Kick your ass if you try anything. <laughs> hey, I'm just relieved to be off that road. Where are we, anyway? Welcome to the Last Stop Cafe. Best coffee this side of the A5. Don't get a lot of customers these days, though. Oh yeah, help yourself to coffee. I'll be done in five. So I never caught your name. Ah, oh, it's Chris. Chris. Right. Nice and simple. Yeah. It was my dad's name, my grandfather too. My parents weren't exactly ones to break tradition. Well, it's nice to meet you, Chris. I'm Anera. I used to know someone called Anera. It means winter, right? Close. Winter is Giaf. Anera translates to snow. Oh, my Welsh is a little rusty. Hey, I'm impressed. Most English folk can't even read the road signs. Well, neither can I, apparently. So what brings you to this neck of the woods? I... Um, well, 
I buried my dad today. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. We didn't uh, exactly see eye to eye. Yeah, my dad left when I was six. Turned up ten years later wanting to play happy family. I still get calls from him, not that I ever answer. Family, eh? I'll be finished up soon, then we can hit the road. Hope we're not making a full pot. Oh, I just got an achievement. Help yourself. Oh, could you deal with that? Just mess with the dial until it finds a signal again. Hold on, let's go get a proper look at it. That's better, I guess. <laughs> Is it? Uh, not my kind of music. Can I change it again? No. Again, that's the second time this week. Hold on, I've got a lighter here somewhere. Tap to open your inventory, select the lighter. Press one for quick select. Oh. Oh, I love that. That is such a, like, PlayStation 1, like, inventory selection thing. Like, a 3D model of the item spinning around. My lighter, a gift from an old friend my father's journal that's it lighter in the journal see this is why i love smokers you wouldn't mind taking a look would you fuse boxes in the back oh, i love that lighting like oh the aesthetic of this okay. is so good last time i was waiting four hours for an electrician I just love how it looks in the darkness too, just not quite black, but this kind of like dithered, weird off color look. I don't like this. So what am I looking for here? There's a fuse box in the kitchen. Kitchen, right. Kitchen. Okay, goes to the toilet. <laughs> Usable sink. Flushable toilet. Yes! This is a good video game, confirmed. Various loo rolls. Good to see they're well stocked. Lights only, the left one and the right one. Hey, Neira, a bunch of these fuses are fried. Should be some spares in there somewhere.
Wait, why did it just open my inventory? Is this to like use a key if I had one? I don't, but could I use a screwdriver to, I don't know, pry? Oh, yeah. First. He's just dead. Okay. There's no use for the fuse here. Dead. What about that slot? There's no use for the fuse here. Nah, it's dead. Are they all dead? That's the only one left that actually works. There's no use for the fuse here. Wait, isn't... Hold on. Yeah, there is a use for the fuse there. Hey, uh, no need to thank me or anything. Anera? Hmm. I do not like that music. Yeah, it kind of seems like there's two realities. Like when we just drove in past that, what was it, hearth sign? The town of hearth or something? Things went from normal to not normal. And that's what just happened here again. Don't go into the woods. Okay. Speaker is wired to the tape player. Strange device with two antenna. Some sort of tape player. What's it doing here? No power. Looks like the battery's depleted. Need a replacement battery. A camera? Moldy. Thankfully, I'm not hungry. An instant camera, useful for keeping memories. I'm scared what might show up on the photograph. Is it in my inventory or something? I don't know where it is. Hey! There's someone there.
I don't think luminescent mushrooms are normal here. How about our car? Does it does it work? All reliable. Rust bucket. Piece of shit. Still got our coffee. Are we missing a part of our car back there? Something, something's missing. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just don't look back there. Oh, we have a phone. Probably no signal now. Now, huh? Don't think old reliable is gonna start anymore. Lucky to be alive, yeah. Don't go into the woods. Oops. Looks like an entrance to the facility. I mean, there's obviously been some sort of like experiment gone wrong here. There's a hexagonal fixture in the center of the door mechanism. Listen to those crunchy, wet, muddy footsteps. An old rowboat. The oars are missing. That is some occult symbol drawn on the ground. Oh, God. Oh, that smell. What the hell happened to them? This was in 1998. Two in the morning. Researcher Dr. Nisha Baines, bearing location, Roadside Cafe in Woodland, Quarantine Zone, Site A. Full range, strong displacement, singular source, 
Clear audible chatter. Further study advised. These are lists of frequent... Whoa. <laughs> These are a list of frequencies. Yeah, there's a couple of frequencies that have... Hmm... Indistinct audible chatter. Basically at 90 and 97. Might as well gather as much evidence as I can. I feel like I just heard a noise. Alpha Charlie. Bravo. This place is a maze. What are those little things swishing around? I need like bolt cutters or uh, locked, uh, locked, or a couple of keys or something. Still have the screwdriver. Don't suppose I could locked pry it open There's with no that? Use for a screwdriver here. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. You could get some leverage with that, but probably not enough to break it. So that was Bravo. Okay, this is where we started. Let's try going left. Are you real? Hey! Wait! Another padlock. Alright, let's go straight. Calms. Storage.
Looks like this way has been intentionally blocked. Let's go to comms. Site C. Warning. Status camp compromised. Simulcast link absent. Establish containment procedure. Some old radio tech. Ha! Huh, floppies! There's floppies on that desktop. And by desktop, I mean tower on top of the tower. A rusty old generator. Looks busted. Rack of various audio devices. Multiple sites compromised. Lockdown procedure initiated. Echo Garden status unknown. Site A compromised. A, B, C. Looks like they were tracking something. Uh, hello? Oh, God, am I happy to hear your voice. I thought you guys had left me here for dead. Does this mean we got the all clear? I can leave. Who is this? I, I'm lost. I really need help. I, I... Wait. You're not from the cleanup team. Fuck. Look, I just... I was in the cafe and there was this thing. It attacked us. I just... I just want to get out of here, please. Send help. Okay. Take a minute. Tell me exactly what you saw. I... I don't know. It was... dark. Like... like some kind of nightmare. Oh, feels like I'm dreaming. Hey, hey, it, it's going to be alright. What's your name? It's Chris, but... Okay, Chris. I'm Helen. You need to listen to me. We're in a bit of trouble here. Something... bad has happened. You're going to have to trust me. I need you to do something for me. I'm from a team of researchers. Whatever you saw in the cafe, it's not real, okay? But for us to leave this place, we're going to have to work together. Have you ever experienced sleep paralysis? Uh, sure. When I was a kid, it would scare the shit out of me. Think of it like that. And your bed spans several miles. The things you see here, no matter how real they may seem, they're just broken memories. Figments of your imagination latched onto something real. Look, I'm just trying to find my way home. The only way you or I are getting out of here is if you do exactly as I say. I'm sorry, Chris, but we're in this together, whether you like it or not. <sighs> okay, fine. So what do I do? There are three sites, each with a device engineered to secure and contain the surrounding area. Several days ago, these devices failed. Simultaneously, each site was disconnected from the array. You're going to have to manually reboot the simulcast devices to relink the array. Uh, honestly, I struggle with the VCR. I I'm not exactly qualified to... <laughs> Think of this as more of a hi-fi. Just hit the power and press the big green button. It's that simple. Uh, okay, and how will I know where these things are? Each link has a fail-safe signal for that exact reason. Easily tracked with a displacement device. 
But there should be one there in the orchard. Uh, and there really is no other option. I wish there was. Okay, and uh, what's stopping me from walking right out of here? You're welcome to try, but I strongly suggest you reconsider that thought. Could be a fallen tree, a gas leak, exhaustion. It's going to be really hard to comprehend right now. But this place, it's different. It has an agenda. If you're here, you're here for a reason. And it's not going to let you leave until it's had its way. Uh, how the hell does a field in the middle of nowhere have an agenda? It's better if you don't think about it. Honestly. Just focus on getting those sites contained. Tell me more about these sites. There are three sites. If the radio's working, that must mean that the orchard has power. Check the monitors there for an update on each site. One is just off the main road. There's an abandoned cafe that we've been monitoring for several months now. The second is in the village itself, situated in an old public house. And the third, Ground Zero, is beyond the lake. A stretch of farmland where the first anomaly was found. Cafe, village, farmland. Got it. Cafe, village, farmland. Beyond the lake? Do I need to find oars to use that boat? That's how I get to that one. You said something about a displacement device? Yeah, it's like a portable radio. Only one that can pick up signals beyond the typical band. We use them to monitor the anomalies. To listen to them. Signals? The signals are a side effect. A trace left over from the afflicted entities. Afflicted entities. Once an item is afflicted, it gives off a specific wavelength that the frequency displacement monitor picks up. You can trace the origin with it. That'll lead you to the simulcast link. Uh, you have no idea how much this sounds like nonsense to me. It's the same shit my dad used to obsess over. Chris, I'm deadly serious. We need to get those sites contained. Afflicted entities is just a really bad phrase. I don't like it. It just suggests bad things. Okay, well, I'll be back later. I'm going to go check out those sites. Go careful, Chris. Is this that device she mentioned? Frequency displacement monitoring device has been added to the inventory. Huh. What's this? Operational guidelines. Please read the following statement carefully before operating our equipment. It's a confidentiality agreement. Hmm. Well, we can skip that part. Blah, blah, blah. The device, the property of the Echo Garden Institute. Mm, tuning. Similar to a commercial FM radio, the FDMD is capable of picking up frequencies between 88 megahertz and 108.1 megahertz on a precise granular scale. Displacement monitoring. After a compromised frequency has been established, the FDMD's directional microphone can be used to detect the origin of the FM displacement. When directed at a target, the LCD digital display will activate. The display will show a numerical readout between 0.1 Point zero point zero and one point zero point zero point zero, with the number increasing based on the strength of the signal. Stabilizing a displacement, the note has been torn. <laughs> Great. We know enough to find the thing, but not how to fix it. Well, I mean, I guess we kind of know. It's just press the big green button, turn on the hi fi system as a was it Helen said?
Wow. Huh? What was that? I do not like the noises this thing is making. Okay, the number's going up, went up to 0.8. It needs to be 1, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that um, audio chatter. Non specific audio chatter that that note a while ago mentioned. Oh. Press left control to raise or lower the directional microphone. E to unequip. Three to quick select. When raised, the direction microphone is able to pick up signals in the environment. When a signal is detected, the device will emit a blue light. Signal strength is represented by the LCD readout on the device. That's not normal. There's no signal over here, but that's... that's... That's not normal. No. Site B, Observational Report, Day 16, Thursday, 24th of September, 1992. Two sightings. And sighting one was at 6 in the morning. Outside village store on Wick Lane. Humanoid appearance, dark translucency, observed at distance. Hold it, Betty. I'm surprised to see still a flash. 